Google Cloud Next 2017 hosted an almost disturbingly large number of talks detailing the future of cloud. If you didn't get a chance to catch the session called Stackdriver, Monitor, Debug, Fix, then stay tuned because here's the recap. Stackdriver is a SaaS package for monitoring, logging, and diagnostics that help you gain insight into applications that run on Google Cloud Platform and Amazon Web Services. One big advantage of Stackdriver is not having to bounce between several different websites to look at your error roundup, aggregated logs, and application performance monitoring. To understand more about how to use this great tool, let's take a deeper look at monitoring. Uh, every application needs some sort of monitoring, and nearly every application needs some sort of uptime check. After that, we want to monitor things that are actionable for you. A good monitor for web app is the response code ratios. Uh, if I'm getting a certain number of 400 or 500 responses, that's a problem I want to be aware of. You also want to monitor your database to make sure it's keeping up. One of the cool things about Stackdriver monitoring is that it can detect what you're likely running on your VM and support several common third-party tools, including MySQL, Apache, Cassandra, CouchDB, MongoDB, Postgres, and many, many more. For supported services, the Stackdriver monitoring agent will discover what you're running even if you haven't configured the service-specific plugin. It does this by examining instance names and looking for specific ports being opened in firewall rules. If it finds a supported third-party tool, it will populate it in the resources list to include that service. Uh, there's also metrics supported for many Google services. Uh, for example, you can monitor the number of interceptions that the App Engine does to prevent DOS attacks, or the number of operations happening in a Firebase database, and the uploaded bytes per minute to BigQuery. And finally, most production apps need some sort of crash or error reporting and alerting. Stackdriver has an error reporting tool built in, so you can subscribe to alerts and get notified about new crashes with automatic throttleback so you aren't getting nagged over and over if everything is going horribly wrong. There are several alerting methods available, including Slack, HipChat, Pager, SMS, email, and the app. And you can include a custom message with the alert, perhaps explaining what debugging steps to take if the alert is triggered. Once you get an alert, you can dig into it using Stackdriver error reporting. Uh, here is the error reporting dashboard showing some crashes. You can drill down to see how many times this error has happened and for App Engine apps, which version it first happened in and which version it last happened in. Like monitoring, an error analysis works in a hybrid cloud environment. There are language-specific libraries for the seven main Google Cloud languages if you wish to send your own crash reports to error reporting. And if you set up Stackdriver logging, you get error reporting. Looking a bit deeper at this error, you can see the stack trace which offers an idea of where something may have gone wrong. The log lets us see more information about the error, like the request parameters and the HTTP response code. Using the Stackdriver debugger, you can figure out what the application state is at that point. The debugger lets you get a snapshot of the application state at a given point during execution. The runtime debugger currently supports Java, Python, and Go applications running on App Engine or Compute Engine. Now, if you want to see Stackdriver in action with a series of awesome demos, check out the full video on YouTube. And if you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist. And don't forget the Google Cloud Summit coming soon to a city near you.